I mean, like, why am I single? Like, I'm a good woman. I pay my own bills. I'm super independent. I have a car. I have a great job. My parents love me. I have a whole bunch of friends. I'm cute. I can cook. I can clean. What more do you want? Like, why, why really am I single? Like, I'm a good woman. <laughs> so those are the things that I'm pretty sure you probably have told yourself. You probably are here because you saw the title and it read, why am I single? So this will be a four part series within my series of the Your King Will Come series. So one of the things I would say, first of all, is everybody wants a king or wants a man, but they're not willing to wait. So you may have not called that, so I'm gonna bring that back to you. Everybody wants a man, but nobody is willing to wait. So find the key words in there. I'm gonna say key word, wait. So a few days ago, I posted something on Instagram, basically talking about patience. And I believe that patience and waiting kind of go hand in hand. On the picture, I wrote a caption, like talking about patience and how I've learned to understand patience. So the million dollar question is, why am I single, okay? That, that's what you're here for, you wanna know that. And I think that one of the answers to that is that you're not willing to wait. You're not willing to be in your season of singleness and actually understand what it means to be single, how to be single. Your misinterpretation of what it means to wait, what it means to be patient. What I think is so important to know is that waiting and patience, they're actions. These are things that you're supposed to do. They're, it's not just something that you just say and it's like whatever. And I think that oftentimes that's what people usually say to you when, when you ask a person, why am I single? Or even if you watch other things and people say, they're like, well, you just have to be patient. Well, what does it mean to be patient? Like, what you trying to tell me? And these are things that I wish someone told me instead of just saying, just be patient, just wait it out. He's going to come. Like, no, that's not good enough. That's not good enough for me. And, I, and it's not good enough for you. So I'm not going to leave you like that. Okay. I think that it's important to know that in you being patient and you waiting is understanding that I'm waiting right now because I am okay with where I am. I accept this single period. I accept that this is where I'm supposed to be right now. I accept that right now my king is not here. He's not coming right now. I'm okay with that. But I also know that ultimately my king is going to come. I'm not saying that I'm waiting idly and doing nothing. Waiting is you taking action. You taking action in a sense of you deciding, you know what, I'm single and I'm not going to, to say that being single is a failure. Being single means that I'm unworthy. I'm not going to dumb myself down. I'm not gonna dull my shine. I'm not gonna mute myself because I'm single. I'm gonna live out loud. I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna do my thing. And in this time, in this, this season of my life, I'm gonna learn more about myself. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna gain a better relationship with myself. I'm gonna gain a better relationship with my friends, with my family. And most importantly, I'm gonna gain a better relationship with God because when I have a better relationship with him and I understand that he comes first, then, then I feel like I'll have a better understanding of my king and where he stands and how I should treat him. Before that, I have to know how to treat myself. I have to love myself. Oftentimes, we get into relationships because it's easy or we just want it so bad. We're like, I just have to be with somebody. And I know that that, that was me. Like, I'm so guilty of that because I'm a relationship type of girl, okay? Like, I just love love. I love being around people. I love the idea of affection and being around someone and being with someone. But I never really had a true understanding of that. Like, I, I, I love seeing it. So I felt like, okay, well, yeah, it's, it's nothing for me to experience it because I love seeing it. Like, me seeing someone else, like a couple embracing each other and loving on each other, it's like, oh my gosh, it's just so, I love it. It's so peaceful and warm. It makes me warm. So I feel like I want that. But the problem is that that when I would get a piece of that, I didn't really know what to do with it. Even though I had those feelings inside, I would suppress them. I didn't feel excited about myself. You know, I didn't feel like I was so worthy of that love. So I was like sabotaging relationships in essence. I had so many issues within myself. And had I dealt with that while single, I feel like I would have been so much better in relationships. And that's not to say that, you know, that means that those relationships are gonna work out if you're good. No, not at all. Because because your king is your king and that's just that and the people that you date just people that you date the important thing is is knowing that in the single period in the single season you have to be developing you have to be growing you can't just sit idly and hope and wish and use this law of attraction and things
think that, oh, yeah, well, he's just going to come to me. Like this man across the street, I can just say, oh, yeah, that's he's supposed to be my husband. Yep, I know that. he was He's meant for me. I can feel God telling me he, he's mine. He's going to be mine. You're going to, he's just going to walk up and say, will you be my wife? Like, no, it's not that. You have to work on you. It's kind of like you grooming yourself and you becoming a better person, a better woman in general. In that period of waiting, it's how can I be better for me? And what is it that I don't like about myself? What is it that I need to work on? What is it that I feel like I can be better at? You know, what are my hobbies? What's important to me in life? What are my morals? What are my beliefs? And it, those are a lot of things I think that you have to consider. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being single. So it's February, of course. And, you know, this is like the season of love. You go in the store, you see all the balloons and all the candy. You see the reds, you see the pinks. I have this pink balloon up here because Valentine and I'm wearing pink. So you see that and it gives you that that idea of love and you want that. And so you're not willing to just wait and you just kind of go with anything and then you end up empty. You end up back in that same predicament, that same situation. It's just like, it's a cycle over and over and then you're back single again. And you're like, oh my gosh, what, what, what is it? Like, why am I single? I'm so frustrated, God, I'm praying to you. God, I'm asking you, God, what is it that I'm doing wrong? What is it? Like you you promised me that my king was gonna come. It's not working out for me. Like I'm so frustrated, I don't know what to do. And that I would say, just chill, okay? <laughs> just chill. Just take some time, take a moment. Try not to focus so much on a person. Focus more on you. I feel like when we do that, when we take the time to just be, we kind of just, just chill, bring it down and become less obsessive with just having a person. We in turn come back and we begin to love ourselves more. And we start to realize that I really am a good woman. Cause let me tell you, so I used to be like, you know, sitting there like, you know, I, I, I'm single, I'm doing all these things and I love, and I love love and I'm this and I'm that. And you know, I'm a really good woman. And then I'm like, wait, I'm a good woman, right? Like I'm questioning myself. And if you have to question yourself, that's a problem. So if it's a problem while you're single, it's gonna be an even bigger problem when you're with someone. And you're gonna end up being single again because I don't feel like a person wants to be with someone who does not know themselves and who does not have that understanding of themselves and they don't love themselves already. And in turn, if you don't love yourself, and you're dealing with someone who is an abuser, you know, who takes advantage, they're going to take advantage of that. So you're going to end up being single again. That has a lot to do with you not accepting the season that you're in, your single season, and not using that season to wait it out. Waiting it out does not mean that you can't talk to people. Oh, I'm waiting. So that means that, you know, if a guy looks my way, then I just have to, you know, put my hand up and I don't even, don't look at me. Let me just wear baggy clothes and, you know, I don't want a man to see me or, you know, no, that's not it at all you still continue on with life be you you don't have to do anything extra but you also don't have to dull your shine either and I think that a lot of times there's the misinterpretation of waiting because a lot of times I think that people give off the vibe that you waiting means that the guy is just going to magically appear and I'm not saying that that doesn't happen but you still have to put in some energy and some work but that also doesn't mean that you're going out here just man hunting like you want to hunt like let me pick him out let me let me try him out like no that's not it the series is called your king will come okay come like he's coming to you not like you're going to him you don't have to hunt for him and that's the same thing with like opportunities and things in your life like what's meant for you is always going to come to you but you have to be ready for it I, I've definitely seen and I've heard and even for myself when your king is actually there in front of your face and then you end up breaking up or you're not with him anymore and you toss that off like oh no that's not the right person like no you know it didn't work out and oftentimes it's because that was not the season for your king to be your king you needed more growth you needed more time. You needed more time to grow. You needed more time to be single. I guess what I would want to say or what I would want to encourage you to do is to just enjoy just being. Enjoy where you are. Enjoy the season. Don't take it for granted and use the season to your advantage. Like use it up. Use that single season up. Use the time to develop your mind, develop spiritually, develop physically. That's your time of perfection. That's your time to perfect all the little things that get on your nerves. Because if it gets on your nerves, it's gonna get on his nerves too. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is everybody wants a man. 
but no one is willing to wait and not many people understand what it means to wait waiting is taking action so i have a task for you guys and i want you to do this right now as you're watching this video go ahead take out a piece of paper and also a pen and at the top of that paper i want you to put past the whole syndrome did you hear that? Past the hold syndrome. So I'm pretty sure you probably like, wait, what? Yeah, this is what I like to call it. I like to call it past the hold syndrome because a lot of times you are so busy looking back and looking in your past that it has a hold on you. So I have this task for you because this kind of goes into the video for next week. We're gonna be talking about looking back, looking into your past. And I want you to write down what things in your past are holding you back like what do you think is something that's holding you back from progressing within yourself and also progressing so that you can actually have your king and enjoy him what's holding you back from getting there what's holding you back from enjoying your single period just what in your past has a hold on you i'll give you an example for me if i was doing this when i was a single woman before being married on my list i would write number one what I would write a specific name and it would be the guy that I feel held me back for so long. I'm telling you this because oftentimes we we try to put things into the back of our heads. We kind of toss it off and we're like, oh no, that doesn't bother me anymore. I'm not, you know, it's nothing. But if we don't really address it and we don't write it out and we don't really take the time to take a look at things, you never really know. And sometimes just by writing things out, you're like, wow. It kind of opens the door, it opens your eyes like, dang, this really been holding me back. So I want you to do that. That is your homework, okay? That's your homework. It's it's kind of fun, I promise you. So I want you to write that down, keep it, so that when we talk about that next week, you'll know why all of this kind of makes some sense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. And also, I do have something down in the description for you. I know that it is Valentine's season <laughs> on the 14th but this also is a month of love and everything and if you're single you may be trying to figure out what can i do to still like enjoy being single and not feel like super depressed so i have 28 things there in the description box for you that you can do in place of sitting there on instagram scrolling watching other people live their happy go lucky lovey dovey lives and all of that and enjoy being single this valentine season don't forget to leave a comment down below just whatever it is that you want to share talk about also don't forget to like this video if you loved it and and subscribe so that you can join this family of course and also don't forget to put pound ykwc if you post a picture on instagram i would love to see some of you who are watching these videos don't forget to write it in your journals write it on twitter whatever because if you believe it you will receive it because your king indeed will come i'll catch you guys in the next video peace